Hello everybody, my name is Gadam and welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. Continue right where we last left off, boys. We're on our way to try and find Mikiko. We're on our way towards the location. The thing is, we keep fighting off against a bunch of different dudes. She's getting crazier and crazier every second, boys. Trying to get every item I can. I'm fighting a lot of dudes. Uh, what about this? We can save the game from here, which I will. Uh, tough uh, enemies wait ahead. You won't be able to return to town, so you might want to take a make a backup save. I sure will. Thank you very much for that. There we go. So we made a backup save, boys. Let's just go ahead, straight up, and defeat uh, or and trying to find Mikiko, boys. We got three thirty three k from that. That's a lot of Mikiko. points, boys. God damn. There she is. Stay back. Come near and I shoot. Come now, Nico. You would really shoot your husband? That's the only reason I'm here. Very well. Then perhaps let's settle down and talk this through. Talk? What is there to talk about? Well, try putting this all into perspective. Are you sure you want to kill me? Can you kill me? Oh, I've got an answer to that. <laughs> but what about our son? What would June think? Would he condone his mother's actions as a killer? Have you even considered the thought? <sighs> of course you have. Compassion comes naturally to you, and guilt enough to freeze you in your tracks. After all, that's what gives this woman her charm. Wouldn't you agree, Kaito-san? Sinister fuck. Unfortunately, nice people don't make money. Business opportunities are all around us. Most fail to seize them, let alone comprehend they're there. Why? It's simple. They're inefficient at drawing wealth to themselves quickly and competently. Instead, they sate themselves on worldly affairs and superficial relationships. They're worthless. So, you cut down your old pals and burn her family alive. They meant nothing to you. Precisely. You catch on quick. I like your potential. Now I'll admit the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice. But the results really spoke for themselves. It was a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. Inhuman bastard! Julia! You think you'd get away with killing my parents? My sister? You're dying right here! Right now! How curious. You actually seem like you mean it. Well, at least you came prepared. Glad I took the steps to confirm that. How the hell is this all come? Well, obviously he knows she's not gonna shoot because he, if she would have shot, she would have done it uh, uh, earlier. Uh, would you look at that? Of course he got himself caught. A tad late, Kenmochi. Uh, my bad, Kyo-chan. Settle down. You move and June dies. Understand? Every much die. I doubt that. You are literally poking Never your head out you. super easily. Back. I mean, we could literally Never shoot your head off, off and Seems I was right to you wouldn't have time to do anything about to June. So, I don't know, man. Right there. Now then, Miki. The real party's about to begin. What? First, let's dispose of any unnecessary baggage. Shoot Kaito, and I will release June. Really? No. Are we doing this right now? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Just shoot the guy, man. He's poking his head out. Like he's got a clear... You got a clear open space. Uh, think Kaito. There's gotta be a way out of this. Reassure June? Persuade Sadamoto? That's not gonna work. Persuade Kamushi? 
or reassure Mikiko. I'm not gonna reassure Mikiko. You know what? I think we can get in. We have an an in with uh, Kenmuchi. I'm pretty sure we do, boys. I think uh, you know what? I think we got an in with Kenmuchi. Let's try and uh, get in. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Whatever. Yo, my guy. He still thinks Mikiko killed the, the those Crimson Cold, uh, Lotus guys, not, doesn't he? Yeah, if he hears about the fact that uh, his uh, so-called uh, friend over there killed his uh, employers, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be too happy about that. So, you know, we're going to try and mark his mind off. Hey, Kenmochi, you still think Mikiko was the one taking down Crimson Lotus? Of course I do. The hell are you talking to me for? Because there's something you might want to know. Each time Mikiko went to take out your buddies, someone else had gone and done them in first. They were dead by the time she got there. Get out of here! With her memories back, and a plan to kill Crimson Lotus, Mikiko became a huge threat. Enough to scare the killer into action. And by killing his old pals, he could erase his dark ties and pin the crime on Mikiko in one fell swoop. Yeah, what do you think what about that? What are you on about? Still don't get it? It's the guy standing next to you. Your legendary guru is a traitor. Yeah, he's a traitor. What? He's the one killing all the uh, all your hmm. folks. I hear Sadamoto's been making the rounds on the media lately. Earned himself a reputation as a CEO in demand. It's why he can't afford having his connections to you guys surface. And on top of that, he needed to act fast to keep Mikiko from ever reaching out to you guys. Yeah, it looks pretty bad for him, what so... Are you saying? I'm saying he's not with you. He's never been with you. And Sadamoto didn't want you spotting any discrepancies between her truth and what he fed you. Had that happened, you probably would have gone after him yourself, Kenmochi. The Natsumi arson was no accident. Sadamoto uh, had dark ties uh, uh, to Crimson Lotus. Sadamoto killed the Crimson Lotus fi uh, founders. Yeah, he killed the Crimson Lotus founders. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the main thing, really. Fact is, Sadamoto was the one taking out Crimson Lotus, not Mikiko. Huh? But you said that already, didn't you? Uh, right after that. Well, what's the... I guess that wasn't the right option, boys. I'm just gonna do the right one. So the Natsumi uh, arson was no accident. I guess I gotta make the right clue. There we go. You said it was an accident that Maho Chan and her parents were burned alive. But it, it wasn't. It was so not it was an accident. Home, right? It was all part of the plan. Well, yeah. I was told they were on vacation. The place was supposed to be empty. But it wasn't. Let me guess. Sadamoto gave the order. Told you nobody get hurt. So what? What are you getting at? He made you do that, my guy. Come on. Before you showed up. He said the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice, but the results really spoke for themselves. He knew Maho Chan and her parents were home that night. And he still had you burn the place down. No. Since you got Well, yeah, man. The property. Yeah, to listen to me. No this guy is no joke. A hardened criminal might flinch at such an order, but Sadamoto is no ordinary thug. He wanted the Natsume's fortune for himself, and for his company to survive, he needed them to die. That's why he lied to you, after fixing up his own alibi. Bullshit. He's lying. Right, I'm not. Huh. You've hit quite the sore spot. Sadamoto, you only had me find Mikiko, so you could get to her before Crimson Lotus. But when I found her, you planned to lock her up and wipe out Crimson Lotus yourself. Then you could wait for the perfect time to finish her off and make it look like suicide. Sound about yeah, it right? It sounds about right. All comes to the plan, huh? You yeah, haven't planned I too much of a way, though. Didn't think this through. Shujan, what's this guy saying? 
It's all lies, right? The night of the arson it was Mahu Chan's birthday. <sighs> the Natsumes and Mahu Chan were big on wine, so I sent them a vintage Bordeaux to celebrate. After all, what's a million yen between friends? Chu Chan! Meanwhile, I was enjoying dinner at a restaurant with my lovely wife. From there, I gave Maho Chan a call and wished her a happy birthday. She told me the wine was delicious. Even the Natsumes, who were notorious wine snobs, enjoyed it. I was worried my secret ingredient, sleeping pills, had altered the taste. Damn, that's to rough. My relief, it all turned out fine in the end. What? <laughs> Interesting. This guy went all out on that shit. He really the hated these guys. The what the hell? I'm sure they went out painlessly. Julia, how could you? Hey, Kyochan, this is just one of your jokes, right? Hmm. Should be any moment now. Delayed, I suppose. All right, so he's waiting for something, obviously. I. I'm pretty much convinced uh, uh, Kenmuchi now. Is he gonna do anything? Like, come on, Kenmuchi. Do something, man. There we go. Get blinded by rage. Fucking kill him. What the fuck? Uh, that's more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Are you shitting me? He poisoned them? This is bad. The whole party's... Oh, fuck, man. Really? It appears to be taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me. What the hell did you do? <laughs> he cut off any ties, I guess. Go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? <laughs> Aren't I thoughtful? So you literally cut off any ties. Now uh, he's good, I guess. But we need to stop him. We need to stop hanging around and talking to him. Let's just kick his ass already. Oh no! What's wrong? Excellent! I've just killed the final four members! A resounding success! You piece of shit! You poisoned their drinks? Yes, I used the slow-acting stuff. A quicker poison wouldn't do for taking out a large group at once. Anyone who gets a drink later on would find out it's poisoned and refuse to touch it. Even so, I was starting to worry I'd miscalculated. Since the effects took so long to show. Terribly sorry, Kenmochi. I'll hold a grand funeral for you. So try to rest in peace, okay? You even targeted innocent people! I wouldn't say I targeted them. There was a designated table for everyone in Crimson Lotus. I can't help it if some non members stopped by for a drink. Son of a so bitch. At that point, I would say it's he okay. really doesn't care, boys. Besides, wouldn't it make more sense for a vengeful, hate-fueled killer to pile on a few extra casualties? The public is much more liable to eat up a dramatic story, after all. You're out of your goddamn mind! Are we gonna and kick his ass already, or what do we do here? He's not even holding the knife on his throat anymore. He, he literally is doing nothing. Jun can literally break out of this situation. Come on, now. Why in the hell would I listen to you? Ah, right. 
Perhaps this scenario merits a bit of explanation. As for tonight, I'm technically not supposed to be here. Well, I was supposed to make a surprise appearance, but only a few people know. Anyway, I left your hair and fingerprints in the kitchen, where the poison was prepared. And on the rooftop, your ex-lover's bullet-riddled corpse will be found. That be you, Kaito-san. On top of that, I've arranged it so a news leak will soon reveal Crimson Lotus as the masterminds behind the Natsume arson. As the story goes, you took the lives of each one out of vengeance. This party was held to clean up any stragglers. And when your old boyfriend caught wind of the whole affair, you gunned him down too. That is what the cops and the media will learn. It was you all along, my dear. <sighs> you thought this wrong, Nimaga. But You're I'm just telling us the plan before it even Kill came Kato out. The hell are you talking me. about? You could use that to flee overseas with June and live a comfortable life. So forget about June. <laughs> Though, I imagine that wouldn't appeal to you. How could you murder an innocent man? I'm far from so being innocent, to be honest, but, ground, uh, you know. I suggest you kill yourself as well. The hell? If you go through with it, I'll even add another hundred million for June. <laughs> At least I'm offering child support. More than a lot of fathers do. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't you do it. Now hurry up and shoot him. You are itching to kill someone. Aren't you? Fucking kill him, man. What the hell are you doing? Too long and June will be the one to die. I knew it. She's so weak, boys. Unbelievable. He really was the devil after all. What the fuck are you doing? I, this guy is so I'm now so you're sorry. putting your back against him. I you, into this mess. you are goddamn crazy. All right, this is bullshit. I guess I prayed a prayer for the worst. This is fucking bullshit right there, boys. She's so stupid. Mikiko. It's okay. I'm here. Huh? Yeah, give me the gun. This changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. Yeah, you didn't what think you this through. At? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirt See, she may not be a killer, master, but I am. Then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. You damn right. It's as easy as that. Just stay out of this. You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <clears throat> can't imagine I'll miss at this range. <laughs> Do it. Do it. You say that, but how else am I going to get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. You want to get strong, June? Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart. And it'll all make sense one day. Man, enough with the flashbacks already. There we go, about damn time, June. He should have done that so many, so long ago. What the? All right, one on one. Bastard. Let's do this. How many knives can one guy have? We took oh, literally goodness. 30 minutes to talk it out. Now we're finally gonna fight it. A fight. About damn Joe, time. Mikiko, you two go. I'd love to play some more, but time is running short. I'll have you bleeding out by the time the cops arrive. I doubt that. I've fought much worse, buddy. You ain't shit. Get the fuck out of here with your knife. 
Ima Ima Image Interactive CEO, okay. Oh, you got my hand a little bit there, all right. All right, buddy, let's do this. Oh, all right. All right, you want to do this? You, you're really going to do some smoke and stuff, all right? Okay, where the, where the fuck am I going? Get, okay, he inverted my controls or something? I think he inverted my controls, son of a bitch. Oh, great, my, inverter, my controls are inverted, boys. What do you know? That's fucking great. But at least he doesn't know what he's doing either. There we go. Finally. No, you don't. Get your hands off me. There we go. Get his ass. Just get his ass right here. No, you don't. Let's go, 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 go. Just like that, boys. Keep it. Uh, get him. EX boost. Come on. I could have done the EX action right there. I don't know why I didn't. I, I didn't. Watch out, Kaido. There we go. You got this. Close line. Boom! Easy! Whoa! 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 Right, you got me right there. Ah, shit! That hurt. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. No, you don't. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! There we go. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want him to attack me or to get me right here. There we go. Just like that. No! Oh, he got me with the mist again. Shit! Come on, man. Get up right there. There we go. Oh, he tased me, yo. The problem is, is with the mist and stuff, right? That's the problem right here. No, 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 what? Dodge, man. What the hell are you doing? Grab him. There we go. Spear is out. EX action. Finally, we're doing some EX action as well. There we go. There we go. Finally got him, boys. Oh, boy. That was a tougher battle than I thought it would be. It's because of the mist. Kept uh, reversing my controls. Really annoying. How? That Did I really drink wine? Okay, so I guess no, it was the uh, the wine, uh, the, the 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 knife. Uh, Mom. Everything was a lie. Everything you've ever said to me was bullshit. Our marriage was bullshit. I guess you got what you wanted. To think I lived under the same roof with the monster who killed my family. My only sister. How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! What's she waiting for? She's that. still not doing it. You'll regret it. See, she's never gonna do it. You'll be losing she's taking precious. 30 minutes to figure it out. Like, really? <laughs> when we split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then, I went down the path of vengeance for the boss of the Matsukane family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You can get yourself locked up? Again. What was it you said? 
everything was a lie? Was I a lie too? The hell? This guy is still alive somehow. I'm so sorry. How is Kenmuchi still alive? He's made of something else, boys. He's really made up of something else. Good lord. Well, I guess he killed him. He did the deed for us. Oh, okay. He's just gonna die right on the spot right there. That's convenient for us. That really is. yourself too hard yet you came in here pretty banged up you've been out for three days that long huh where's mikiko is she okay yes yeah, is she okay yeah. is she did she Almost ran off again you the entire time she nearly passed out on her feet when she said she was feeling lightheaded shirakaba san took her to get some rest didn't want to go with your mom? Nah. I'm cool right here. And yagashi san has been keeping me company, too. Ah, well, I had time to kill, so... And... Sanamoto? Uh... He, uh... didn't make it. He didn't. Oh, those are from Yagami. He's back from his business trip. He came by earlier, but saw you were out like a rock. That put him at ease, so he left this and went home. <laughs> nice touch. This Yagami is back, boys, so... If there's a good thing... Easy now, Aniki. It's no problem. No problem, huh? You're practically split at the seams. I think I'll hold together just fine. Uh-huh. Just try to stay out of trouble, okay? June. You free to talk? Oh, uh, sure. How does Kaido keep doing that, though? Switching outfits like that without having to go butt naked beforehand. That takes some special uh, uh, magic not. going on right here. I'm kind of curious. I guess. My old man wasn't the greatest either. In fact, he was a nasty drunk. Yeah? Yep. He barely worked, used up our money on booze, and every swig he took meant a swing at his family. I couldn't live in a home like that. So, I ran away. Then, I got kicked out of school, and after doing some more dumb shit, I ended up in juvie. 
After that, it was clear what kind of life I had coming. Huh. No kidding. Growing up, I wish the old bastard would just drop dead. Deep down, I took out all my problems on him. He was why my life turned out fucked up. But in reality, those fuck-ups were mine alone. Huh. Sure, my pops was a no-good loser who destroyed himself with alcohol. But when I got word he died, for some reason, all I could think of were the few good times we had. Huh? <laughs> Stupid, right? Why? After hating his guts my whole life. Sorry. I know this ain't making it easier. Actually, there was this one time my dad took me out for a drive. Thinking back, maybe he just felt like cruising around in his brand new car. But he asked me if there was anywhere I wanted to go. And then he took me far away just so I could see the ocean. <laughs> Joe, take it slow, okay? You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine now. For real. Are you sure you are? You, you sure? don't sound like it. <laughs> He's really trying to tough this, tough this out, I guess, yeah. Trying to be more like us. You know what, Kaito? I've been thinking. I never really wanted to be a Yakuza. It was something different all along. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Not a detective. <sighs> I want to be the kind of guy you can depend on. Someone who's strong. Someone like you, man. So don't worry. As much as it hurts, I'll be okay. Hey, it's all good, my dude. It's all good. John. I know it's tough. I can take it. And besides, I'm not a kid anymore. What are you gonna do now? Go see your mom at Shirakawa-san's place? Yeah, someone's gotta go pick her up. Oh, speaking of, Shirakawa-san asked me to give you a letter when you woke up. Oh yeah, what letter. kind of letter exactly? What? What's for then? You know. Is, he got, is it compensation? Maybe he's gonna pay me or something for that whole ordeal? Kaito-san. As I've mentioned before, I intend to propose to Mikiko-san. I won't do it right away. She and her son need time to process. But I will say this. If you still have any feelings for Mikiko-san, I suggest you pay me a visit. Yasutaka Shirakawa. What a guy. So, what's it say? He wants me to pay him a visit, I guess. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. And that means what exactly? Actually, June, I'll come see Mikiko with you. You sure? I really? Myself just Is he really gonna do a Trust challenge, me. man on oh man? Huh. For the girl. Are you What's kidding that? me? This man's wilding out. Alright, he challenged me to a freaking duel. Guess we're settling this once and for all. Head over this place whenever uh, I'm ready. Last chance to roam around. This mode uh, does not have previous adventure after the main story. Uh, we're basically at the end of the story right here, boys. I guess we're finished. Uh, we're about to enter the last mission. 
which I'm not sure where it is. Take a taxi to the Shiraba uh, Shirakawa Clinic. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. Next video is going to be the very last one, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this one. See you guys for uh, the last video of the pre uh, the next one. Keep it easy.